I feel responsible for the thrill factor. <laughs> Park life. I picked the perfect time to run through a swamp. Water is God. I've eaten a whole lettuce. I'm, I'm in the post office. How much does it cost to mail yourself that way? Good morning, everybody. What's up? My name's Seb. This is the cam. Boom. This is Seb Cam in the park. Living the park life. Da -na -da -na 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 -na. Park life. So, my plan ugh, is to go over to the other side. It's still the same plan I had before when I was on the trucker road to go to the other side of Florida. Tampa and check out the other coast. Instead of the east coast, we're gonna to go to the west coast of Florida. So, uh, I stayed in the park. Here is where I stayed. Can you even see where I am? Where I stayed, I mean. Can you see the hammock? Can you see the hammock? No, of course you can't, because it's so well camouflaged. Look. You have to get right up on it. There was a couple times last night where some people were walking and I kind of froze. I was like, oh, because it's a park. It's like a public, people go for walks, you know? And they walked by that, that's the nearest path up there. And I was peeking out the hammock and they totally didn't see anything or say anything. Like they just couldn't see me. Like it was just, I'm completely invisible. Chameleon is a good name for this hammock. Well done Dutchware with the naming. So, let's get in and have a little chat, shall we? <laughs> uh, zip up, keep the bugs out. Last night was cold enough, in a good way, that I used my sleeping bag. Like, I really enjoyed it. I snuggled in, I pulled it right up over my shoulders, which stops the mosquitoes from biting me through the material because that's the thing. If I run out of spray, like if the spray loses its potency, then they all start biting me through the material. So it's like, oh, I've got to put some kind of barrier between me and the mosquitoes outside, or I've got to spray the material. So last night, my barrier was my OM sleeping bag. Om Mountain Raid 1.6, which means it's extra warm. So we're about to find out how warm it is as winter creeps up, because last night felt like, mmm, snuggly warm, but I could feel that it was cold outside. There's other nights here, it's been like 25, maybe even 30, which is just ridiculous. And I've had no sheets, no nothing. I'm just laying here like sweating and thankful for any breeze and cool. So. Anyway, as the temperature creeps down, we're going to have to play with our uh, gear a little more. Summer is officially over, but in Florida, it's still pretty much like summer. <laughs> like, like, this is like the summer in England. This is nice. This is actually a very, very comfortable temperature. Anyway, get back to the point. We're going to cross Florida. Uh... And I've looked at how to do it, and I've decided uh, I don't want to go on the roads. I don't want to make that mistake again. I just don't enjoy it. So why not make this whole epic adventure, Seb runs around the world, on nature trails, mountains, beaches, off-road. And I'll use the roads sparingly where I have to, to get to the trail, to get to the nature bit. So I started searching what trails are there, what apps, what maps, what could I find that will get me across and ultimately up. And I found it. I will insert some screenshots here of something called the Florida Trail app, I guess. And all along the trail are these little flags which are like informative things like there's a post office, there's a supermarket, there's a water here, there's a road where you cross. At least if you get to a road, you can like put your thumb up or wave someone down or something. So 
it marks every point of civilization so I can look at the map and see ahead am I gonna have to last 20 miles or 200 miles until I get to the next resupply shop because I've been adjusting my belt a little bit and trying to accommodate for space for food and if I'm on a trail and I'm purely doing nature for a little while I won't need things like a basketball and uh, even my superfood powders I've reduced that down like things that I'm carrying just because I've decided I'm gonna mail ahead of me I mail it to myself send it to the post office ahead where I know I'm running all right so how do you want to send it? Stress, What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Guys, my name is Seb. This is Sam. Boom! This is Sam. I'm in the post office. I'm literally here with all the people at the counter and everything, buying stuff, mailing stuff, me and my belt. So I came to the conclusion that if I'm going to be running wild trails across Florida, I'm not going to see any basketball hoops. So I don't need the basketball. I also don't need all of these superfood powders and socks. Because it's just heavy, like, I've got enough to eat for now, and I've got enough socks. <laughs> In here is my injury massage repair thing, and a saw. I'm not going to be cutting many things down, and hopefully if I'm not injured, I don't need that either. And that's actually quite heavy, that, that's probably one of the heaviest things. And then these are just little spare adapters and whatever. So, I got this box, and for ten bucks... I can mail this to myself ahead of me in Tampa. These guys in the post office have been very helpful. They've made sure I'm mailing it to the right place with a phone number and everything. Look. So I send it by general delivery over to Tampa. I've even got a phone number and I put my own name on the box. So then when it's sent, I just show up and I say, hi, I'm the guy, and I've got 30 days to pick it up. That's amazing. 30 days. That's like storage. I could just leave it there in storage. Um, so I'm very, very happy about this. Because all this stuff, that's heavy things I don't have to carry anymore. And now my belt just feels like way smaller. You know, there's like nothing in it. I'm below 30 pounds now, and I think I'm like, maybe 28 pounds. North Carolina, and they built like a house inside of the school bus, and they traveled from North Carolina to Alaska. That was such a good idea. I'm just so happy. I never really knew, it was always a mystery in my head, how much does it cost to mail yourself a box? And the answer is, between 10 and 15 dollars which is nothing and I always wondered how long will they hold it for am I gonna be in like a hurry to get there 30 days that's amazing like that's so long I can just post it like 400 miles ahead of me I know that I could get it in 30 days so no basketball for now I feel a little bit sad like if I see a hoop I can't play but we're not going to be passing many hoops now. We're done with park life. And we're moving on to swamp life. <laughs> but first, Golden Corral. Let's have a proper real meal with some good variety of nutrients and greens. For a few days, I've just had bananas and oats, bananas and oats, bananas and oats. And I don't mind it like it's pretty bland and boring and repetitive and whatever it it serves its function i'm not that bothered i ain't bothered about the bananas and oats but i wonder if my body is going to be lacking you know a range of nutrients because the range is not only in bananas and oats you need to eat a range of plants to get a range of nutrients but i don't really have the resources to cook or to blend or to make interesting meals so that's where I need to really actually rely on these kind of buffet places and go in there and just blitz their salad bar get a whole range of like 
plants you know greens is what I'm really lacking get the greens get the beans uh, get the sweet potatoes the kind of things that I'm not making for myself fresh melons this is a really nice golden corral I mean that they're, they're pretty much they're all the same but I like the layout the atmosphere is very cool so my phone's been having a few problems connecting. It's partly the reason why there's been like a delay and you haven't heard from me and I haven't been uploading and I haven't been, I've been disconnected. Like there's some issue with my phone connection for 4G. There's no Wi-Fi here either, so I can't even do Wi-Fi tests. Yo, yo, latest update. It's been difficult to show you everything I'm eating because I'm using the phone to do the office. Show you quickly the range of nutrients. I've eaten tons of cucumber, that's just the last slice. Tons of beetroot, raisins, uh, what are they called, olives, carrots. And then I'm kind of mixing that with the greens and the sweet potatoes. So I've got like a sweetened, thickened salad but a whole range of nutrients, so it's nice to be able to pick out all these things, you know? Beans and beets and everything. Finally, so I'm just taking my time. I'm gonna be here for a few hours while all this uploads. All right, ladies and gentlemen, geez. I'm pretty full. I've got my night light on already. Oh, it's not one, two, three, four. There. <laughs> so I'm prepared. It's dark out there. I'm really happy with this that I discovered these courgette, uh, massive broccolis, peppers, onions. I'm just trying to fill up on the things that I'm missing, you know? So I want to add some more music to my phone my own enjoyment and also for you guys for the uh, editing for the videos that's my final mission and I'm out of here so just a few more buttons to push and we're off morning all last night was pretty cold I had to get well snuggled in here with my little hood on. I'm beginning to wonder if I made a poor judgment by giving up a lot of my warm clothes. I'm just currently thinking I'm going to remove the roof. minutes to put the roof down it's not much is it five minutes to not be seen five minutes I've got to do anyway and it probably takes a little bit more than five minutes to put it up in the dark when it's raining so it's good to know it's just in my head I can justify it as it's only five minutes. I never really feel like getting up and putting on the roof if it's raining, but... It's a balance, like, do you just sit there and get rained on? You just, like, you could get a torrential downpour and get soaked. It's gonna ruin your whole night. I've had that happen. Rise is popping through. I'll be able to do sun gazing from the hammock. <laughs> Back in my snuggly mummy. Ombre bag. I wonder what temperature that was because 
It was borderline uncomfortable. But I don't think it's anywhere near freezing. I'd like to be able to cope with almost freezing, you know? Well, actual freezing. Borderline frozen is my goal. This Florida sandy ground, it's white. Look how white it is. It looks and feels like it's been snowing. <laughs> it's so cold. It feels like snowy. Look, it's not actually that cold. I just I'm not used to it. Water is God. <laughs> Reasons to sleep in those trees. Reason number one, breakfast bar. A nice open plan breakfast table. Reason number two, power supply. <laughs> Reason number three, gym. Tucked away under the tree is a bar. See a bar, do pull ups. <clears throat> All right. Let's pretend Marshall Mathers never picked up a pin. Let's pretend things would have been no different. Pretend he procrastinated, had no motivation. Pretend he just made excuses that were so paper thin they could blow away with the wind. Marshall, you're never gonna make it. Makes no sense to play the game. There ain't no way that you win. Pretend he just stayed outside all day and played with his friends. Pretend he even had a friend to say was his friend. And it wasn't time to move and schools weren't changing again. He wasn't socially awkward and just strange as a kid. He had a father and his mother wasn't crazy as shit. And he never dreamed he could rip stadiums and just lazy as shit. Fuck a talent show in the gymnasium, bitch. You want him out the shit. Quit daydreaming, kid. You need to get your cranium checked. You're thinking like an alien. It just ain't realistic. Now pretend they ain't just make him angry with this shit. And there was no one he could even aim when he's pissed it. And his alarm went off to wake him, but he didn't make it to the Rap Olympics. Slept through his plane and he missed it. He's gonna have a hard time explaining to Haley and Laney these food stamps and this wick shit. Cause he never risked shit. He hoped and he wished it, but it didn't fall in his lap. So he ain't even here. He pretends that. Cheers. Banana tacos. <laughs> I've eaten a whole lettuce. I'm familiar with cold wind and rain with England. So I have all that gear, but I haven't used it in so long that I just felt like I don't need it, it's Florida. But winter is definitely kicking in. So it's becoming a thrill to, you know, cope with the conditions and keep comfortable and keep going. And I thought, like, it's funny how it's a thrill for me, but it's a thrill for you guys, too, watching along. How's you doing? Where are you now? How's it going? Where, you know, what's happening? So there's a joint thrill here that we both feel. And I feel responsible for the thrill factor. <laughs> because if I stop, it's not just stopping my thrill. It's stopping all of yours too. <laughs> all you people are enjoying watching. So whenever I contemplate like maybe I'm, you know, shouldn't be doing this. What am I doing out here? I'm like, no, this is great fun. This is thrilling. It's thrilling me and it's thrilling those I come into contact with. So I've picked the perfect time to run through a swamp. Winter time. <laughs> Woo. Tempting, but I have had lettuce tacos already. <laughs> so I just looked up the trail and it's, I don't know the distance in miles, but it's $30 in Uber ride away. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I just cut out all this like main roads, traffic, sidewalk for the whole day. That's all I'm gonna be doing today. And instead, of that, 
do smarter not harder get the uber to the trail and then be able to enjoy my time on the trail you know so that's what we're gonna do i'm waiting for the uber now i'm waiting i'm waiting how long have is it just starting because you're on a pretty much yeah because it's like miami to orlando okay and previous to this was just kind of training runs practicing for like a year with that belt okay. as far as what goes in it and also how heavy it is for my body to okay. handle so a lot of running with wearing the belt unnecessarily like yeah, yeah. run into town and buy potatoes uh, and carry them home uh, okay. to get used to doing like 5 10 15 20 miles yeah. i want to make this as fun as possible on my terms and I don't want to be running along crappy roads that I'm not enjoying why, you know, questioning why am I even here? What am I even doing? So I think that brings you guys up to date, really. Uh, right now, like what's happening this minute, it's morning, it's sunrise. I've been editing. I've been really using this hammock as my bedroom, getting used to using it as my editing, sleeping, chilling, somewhat eating but it's awkward to eat in here it's a bit messy all right this is the stuff we want 40 percent all right no meat burrito courtesy of wawa Wawa is a gas station convenience chain. Anyway, this is proper big, hefty, warm. I'm super hungry. I'm just gonna eat two burritos before I even begin the trail. There's no point starting hungry. And there's a lot of stuff in there. It's very like, packed. This is what I wish Taco Bell made them like. Like, why are they so empty? Gatorade! We're just searching for the trail, trying to get on it. Get on it! Gatorade! <laughs> okay, I found the trail. It's really this road. It's an old road, it's a small road. And there's a cool little bit like this to go along small road but at least it's not a highway with trucks I'm just walking while my uh, burrito digests <laughs> not too bad this road pretty clear pretty you know pretty pretty <laughs> There's nothing to, no side to walk on, but the cars are just getting out of the way because it's a small road. Yeah, there's a little bit of wildlife in the canals either side, the sort of swamp canal. Oh, chain net, rusty. Love it. I really kind of wishing, oh, if only I had my basketball right now. All right, we're heading to Tampa that way. gate seems to be an old road.
That was the first alligator's head I have ever seen. And it was huge. That was crazy. That was a big beast of a thing. And it, as soon as I began to film and zoomed in, it was like, bloop. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!